All right, we're going to look at uh, Unity. This is our first tutorial in Unity. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to look at the user interface of Unity. Now, I've opened up Unity, and my interface will look different than your interface. Um, so I'm going to show you how I got there. And we're going to set this up a little bit, change it around, so that it works for whatever we're developing. Um, to start off with, like for instance, this window right here is not here, game. You'll see scene and game right up here with one big window. What I've done is I've grabbed this tag, the game tag, which if you click here, add tag, you can select a game tag here, and you can drag that window anywhere you want. Set it up. If you want to get rid of it, we can simply right click, close tab, and it goes away. So let's look at uh, what all is available up here now that we've got our game pulled down here. Um, first of all is our hierarchy. Here you're going to see all of the things that are in your game uh, listed. So for instance, if we add a plane to our game, we come over here to Game Object, Create Other. We can add shapes. Um, we're going to add a plane here. And the plane shows up here. We can right click on that plane. We can rename it and call it ground if we want. Now if we decide we don't want that, we just simply click on it, hit delete, it'll go away. Just above the hierarchy, you have your move tool, your pan tool, your rotate tool, and your scale tool. On these tabs, you just click the tabs, it'll go back and forth, animations for anim doing animations and setting up the timelines and things like that. The scene tab is actually the scene that we're working on at the at the moment. Over on the right you have your X, Y, and Z tabs. It works very similar to 3D modeling software like 3D Max. You actually click on this and it'll spin it around however you want to spin it. Our game tab is going to show you what it looks like as if you were playing the game. Uh, we can also go up here and play and pause the game as well. Um, down here are all of your project objects. Um, we'll be looking at that a little bit later. And we'll also look at the inspector later as well. So we're going to go ahead and set up our first scene. Uh, we're going to go to game objects, create other, come down to terrain. Um, you can see the terrain set up here. Here we can set our scale of our terrain on the X, Y, and Z scale. Um, so we're going to set that to um, 400, 400. So at this point, now we need to start uh, drawing our terrain and we're going to flip this over so you can see what's going on here. Um, right here under the terrain you'll see these little mountain tabs and paintbrush and all of that. That's actually to set up your terrain so if we click on this first one you can set your brushes kind of like you do in Photoshop or whatever and as you click and drag you'll see that it starts drawing the mountains. Um, we can set it to where these mountains are flatter, uh, and if you just play around with this, this is a smooth tool, so it'll smooth out those rough edges on the on the mountains. Um, <clears throat> under the paint tool, we can paint textures onto this, so we'll have to go grab a texture. and we're going to paint them on these mountains. So to do that we'll go to Edit Texture, Add Texture. Um, you'll have a little box pop up like this. We'll have to go select the texture. So if you'll notice when we do that, nothing shows up. Well, we need to import some assets into here. So we're going to go to Assets. We're going to Import Package. 
we're going to go to the terrain assets and it's going to open up a dialog box here importing package uh, you want to have all of them and you want to click import and once that's done when we open these folders down here under our project tab um, you can see we have grass uh, to navigate back and forth you can click on this just like you would in Windows Explorer um, we have some dirt and grass and rock and then we have some tree assets as well so we're gonna go back up to our train we're gonna edit textures again add texture and this time we have something pop up so we're gonna be working on the mountains so I'm gonna choose this cliff layer and notice that it covered everything our entire train so we want to be able to paint this texture on there um, we're going to remove texture I'm going to go ahead and set up our universal texture as this grass and rock so that we'll have something as a base layer and now we're going to go paint a texture on there we want to select a different texture that we that we paint on there alright so now we're going to select a new texture and put it in here and we're going to use our paintbrush tool now I'm going to paint on a separate texture on here so now we have our base layer and the area we've painted with sand And while you're doing this, you can adjust like your brush size, you can adjust the opacity of what you're drawing on. So if I came up here, set my opacity down to a really low amount, the base layer, a lot of it's going to show through. So it gives us that option to blend. So now we're going to move over to our trees. Um, we're going to edit our trees, add, and it asks us to please assign a tree. So we're going to come up here to Assets, Import Package, Tree Creator. Brings this screen up again, we'll hit Import. So now we can see we have some trees in here and this allows us to manipulate the trees and change them around a little bit. Go back to edit trees and we're going to put uh, this big tree in there for right now. Alright, and now we can start painting our trees on. I'm going to change our brush size down a little bit. And as we brush it on there, you can see the trees that are showing up. You can also see them starting to show down here a little bit as well. Now the other option it gives us over here, the mass place trees. When we click on that, this one is going to come up and we can adjust this number of trees that we want to place. Uh, we'll leave it at a thousand right now. Actually, ten thousand. Click place, 
and you can see it scatters out our trees. Um, does a pretty good job randomization of trees. So if you wanted trees all over your your map, that's a very easy way to do it. So we need to do one more thing before we can actually start playing this little simple game that we have here. We're going to come up to assets again. We're going to import package and we're going to import the character controller. And once this is done importing, uh, when we go down to our character controllers, um, we're going to use the first person, uh, which is just basically a capsule. And we're going to place that on our land. You can see down in our game window there that it's actually looking through the camera that's already on our capsule. So we can set it anywhere we want on this train. Um, so once we set it, we'll zoom into it. We want to make sure that it is above the plane. If it's not, it'll actually fall through the plane once we hit play. Um, so we come over here to our move. We want to move it up a little bit, just above the plane there. And now at this point, we can click play. And we can see on our bottom window, we've got controls. The mouse will move it to look around, and our arrows will move our movement. Um, we can see up on the top screen the capsule as it moves through our land and we can see on the bottom screen what the player will actually see in our game as they navigate through our our terrain. Alright, now we got a, a very simple just moving around the land here. Um, we have a couple issues going on. First, it's it's very dark in our gameplay, which you may want this if you're playing at dusk or something like that, but if you're wanting something that's happening in the daytime, we need to add another object, game object. We're going to do a directional light. And notice as soon as I put that directional light up there, how much more the color is showing through on our gameplay. And uh, as we walk around, you can see it makes a very big difference. And we can adjust the intensity of this directional light um, so that we can get a little bit brighter scene or a little bit darker scene depending on what we want here. Um, the next thing we want to do is we need to make some kind of sky up there. So the way we're going to do this, we'll come up to edit we'll go to render settings um, and over here we have a number of different options here but what we were concerned with is this skybox and when we click on the skybox we can put a material in here so if we have a picture that we want uh, that we've taken or we've gotten from somewhere else we can put that in there so we'll come over to import package we'll import our skyboxes and I'm gonna start collapsing some of this we're getting too much down here so we'll go over to our skyboxes and notice we got a bunch of different options here uh, let's try the sunny so any of these would work and now we have a sky in our little land 